Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can change your field of view zoom in Diablo 3 using Cheat Engine. This is useful for showing you the outside of the bounds of your screen so that you can find points of interest easier. This is what it looks like with two times zoom, four times zoom, and eight times zoom. Now I have to warn you, this method is a little bit tedious, but it does work. In this video, I'm going to assume that you already have Cheat Engine installed on your system and a basic understanding of how to use Cheat Engine. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video you can check out for how to use Cheat Engine for any game, and we're going to be using Cheat Engine for Diablo 3. So to get started, we're going to log into our game and make sure that our toggle zoom key is working. For me, it's my Z key. I don't know what the default is, but you want to make sure that you can zoom in and out like this because this is what we're going to be scanning. So on my screen here, I already have the address found. So you can see how the address changes as we do this. The default value for your zoom level is zero or a four byte value type. So we're going to do a scan for the value zero for the value type four bytes. And we're going to click first scan. And this is going to produce a lot of results as most first scans do. Then we're going to zoom in and we're gonna go back to cheat engine and we're going to scan for a changed value. And then we're going to zoom out again and we're going to scan for a changed value again. And we're gonna keep doing this until we get just a few values remaining. Right now we have 246,000 values. We're just going to have to zoom in, scan, zoom out, scan, rinse and repeat until we have a handful of values left. Now, I recommend you go into your cheat engine settings and set up a hotkey for next scan changed value. And that way we can just go into our game, zoom in, press our hotkey, zoom out, press our hotkey. And that will let us to keep scanning without having to tab out of the game. So now we have 131,000 values. After a few more scans, we're down to 44,000. So just keep doing this until you get down to a smaller list. One trick that I like to do to make this list short faster is just to go to unchanged value and click next scan a whole bunch of times because if we haven't changed our value, then we might as well just get rid of all of these flip flopping values that we don't need. And you can see our list is down to 9,000 values. So after doing a handful of scans, we are left with just 210 values. And no matter how much scanning I do at this point, that number is not going down. So I'm left with 210 potential addresses to deal with my zoom level. All of the values here that say one, I can assume that these are for my toggle zoom value, considering it is a on off switch, it's either going to be a zero or a one. When I zoom out, a lot of them turn into a zero and that confirms that that is the toggle for my zoom. So at this point, I can just assume that the zoom value is not going to be one of these toggle addresses. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna look at any of these values that are not just a one or a zero. So what we can do here is just add a bunch of these values and start changing them and seeing what that does. The very first value that comes up here also happens to be the one we're looking for, for the zoom value. And I know this because I found it before I started making this video. So if I change this value, it will start messing with the zoom in the game, as we can see here. But we can't just go and guess random numbers between 1 million and 1 trillion, and that's gonna be our zoom level. There's an easier way to set our zoom level, which is to change the value type from four bytes to float. And we're gonna go ahead and just reset our zoom here by zooming in and out in our game. So now that our zoom level is changed to a float, we can assign it any kind of decimal number. If we give it a one, it'll zoom in real close. 
if we give it a minus one, it'll zoom out. If we give it a minus two, it'll zoom out even more. If we do a minus four, even more, minus eight, even more, and so on. So you can go ahead and just pick whatever zoom level you're comfortable with. And that's how you change your field of view in Diablo 3 using Cheat Engine.